suckers. T-G-I-F. We made it. Guess what time it is. Hey, Sharon, what's the T? Let's find out what the T is for you fuckers today. <sighs> Tap that screen. Tap it. Tap it. Thanks. Okay. What's the T, spirits? What's the T? Ooh. All right, so somebody in this collective needs to check themselves because they're very insecure. Uh -huh. Check yourself insecure so yeah you need to check your insecurity meter okay how is it doing today not so good okay all right let's see what's going on with this spirit who, who is this what's going on with it? oh okay so somebody's very insecure about a surprise visit to you somebody wants to pop up on you give you know have that element of surprise with you and pop up on you with desire sexual desire sexual oh this person has intense feelings for you intense sexual feelings and desire oh yeah they masturbate to you idea of you thoughts of you Pictures of you, videos of you. Yep, videos of you. Uh huh. So they're masturbating to you and they want nothing more than to pop up on you and fuck your fucking brains out. And I'm not just talking about fucking you, you know, fucking your brains out. I just suck your brains out. No, I'm talking about fuck your brains out. Do you hear me? They want to. Okay, you get it. <sighs> Ooh, okay. Ooh. And it's something about keeping a promise to themselves. So this person, whoever this is in this collective, take it how it resonates. Keep scrolling if it don't. Remember, it's not for everybody. It's a collective, not a private reading. But this person made a promise to themselves to contact you, come forward, surprise you with some sort of a surprise visit pop up for the element of surprise. That is because they desire you so much, okay? But this person in keeping this promise has been insecure this whole time. So this is the hiccup, this is the delay, the obstacle of keeping this person from doing this. Even though they've kept up, they're trying to keep a promise to themselves to do it, but the insecurity is overpowering it. Okay, so spirits are calling upon this person for some sort of a realization that they need to look into themselves and find out why they're insecure. What's this insecurity feeling? Why is this happening? So, once it, it's like I'm psychic, <laughs> self love, looking into yourself. Finding out why you're so insecure, getting over that insecurity, insecurity, having more confidence in yourself. So that way you can move forward, okay? You can make that surprise visit without the fear of having egg on your face and getting rejected the minute you show up, okay? I get it. You're determined. You're determined to make this happen. Like I said, you've made this promise to yourself. You're going to be persistent to keep that promise, all right? You're still holding on, okay? You might even want to send flowers to, or some sort of romantic gift to this person, whoever you are in this collective. You have feelings for this person beyond sex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whoever this person is has strong, strong feelings emotional feelings for you it's not just about sex it's about you they just they want to be in your energy they want to be in your bubble okay not just your you know anything else they want to be in your energy your vibe they dig it they dig your positive vibe they find your energy to be calming is what i'm hearing instant they instant calm um, now, they've been going through some drama, this, this, this person, 
Okay, they they the drama's over with, but they've been going through <clears throat> heart chakra. Okay, okay, we're just gonna call it drama. We won't figure out what it is. So total drama. Okay, that they took action to try to cover up. They tried to burn the evidence of whatever it was happening. Hmm. What else can you tell me, spirit? This person's a stubborn ass, whoever you are. Stubborn ass. With your spirit guide talking to me, I see that. Ooh, okay. This is involving someone who is a hater. Interesting. Stubborn ass hater. Avoidance. Okay. Okay. So, this person, whoever you are, you have been involved with someone or some people that have been toxic, caused a whole lot of drama for you. And whether it's romantic or otherwise, we won't discuss it. Okay. But this person, you, whoever you are that you were involved with, well, like I said, one or more people, you have since detached. No, you stopped talking to this people or person. You're avoiding them like the plague. And I feel like you kind of hate them right now. Okay. Angry. In your adult. <laughs> Um, and you're being a huge stubborn ass regarding this. Like, you're not going to yield or budge from this boundary that you're setting with them. Wow. All right. And whatever this, it, whatever this was, you're ashamed of it and feel very guilty. Um, oh, so you got caught with whatever it was. Yeah. Even though you tried to burn the evidence, you got, you still got caught. Whatever it was. Okay. All right, Spirit. Spirit wants you to know that this is between the two of you. This person did not put you in that category of whatever that toxic behavior was. Okay? This person did not put you in this toxic box. Okay? Of people. In fact, your person loves you. Your person has strong, deep, deep love for you. And they know that you're different from all the rest. There's something about you and they know it. It's a love story. A true, true love story. And once upon a time, this means this love story is eternal. More than one lifetime. Possibly a soul connection here. Yeah. Whoever, whoever you are in this collective, you got kicked to the curb by this person that you love. Mm -hmm. And it made you fucking pissed off. It made you hurt. It made you insecure about yourself. And once again, you're still insecure. You're still afraid of rejection. And spirits are saying you need to check yourself. Look, build that confidence back up. Everything is going to be fine. All right. There's no need for any kind of worry about your double life that you were living. Okay? Look. Your person knows. They know they were playing mind games with you. And that's what, that's what was going down. They know. You were being manipulated, lied to, all those things. Now, spirits are guiding you to make this communication with this person that you love. They're, they are insisting upon it. You need to contact this person because if you don't and you let your own insecurity ruin the chance that you have with this person, then that's on you, boo-boo. Spirits can only do so much to convey a message. You are the one that has to take the action and follow through and execute said plan for you. This is part of your destiny. This is a soul connection. This is your destiny. And you are the one that has to initiate this contact. Okay? So quit avoiding it. Quit worrying about, oh my God, am I going to get rejected? Fucking do it. It's that simple. Take the block off and communicate with him. I love you. Good luck.